Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the seventh episode of Hunter Hunter. Last episode, we met our men. We met our examiners, uh, Menchi and Buyaro, Butayaro, something like that, uh, for the yes, the uh, second phase. And it turned out to be too hard. You know, I mean, killing the ingredients was okay, but having to make food that's to the subjective preference of a very picky eater was a bit much. So we kind of changed it a bit, did a slightly different test, and yeah, we had some people pass, more than ten, you know, but a lot of failed. Yeah, some of them didn't even want to jump into the into the cavern and try to grab an egg oddly enough but yeah the important characters passed so let's see what's up next three two one play but yeah about my reactions to the last episode i hope i didn't come across too harsh with menchi there because I know I criticized her a decent amount, but, you know, she owned up to her mistakes and all that, so... I don't want people to think I was trying to be mean to her or anything. I don't have any, like, negative feelings towards her. She just, you know... She has her personality quirks. My only problem with her was mostly just her exam choice was flawed. <laughs> And it was such a stark contrast from our previous examiner that was all so serious and professional and all business, and <laughs> then we just get her. It was like, hey guys, maybe some food. Makes me curious what other examiners we'll see. It was also weird how they had two examiners for that one as well. That was also kind of a weird thing. Yeah, some people let go too early. Last mistake they ever made. But if you look at Gon's face, it doesn't look all that dangerous. But it really is. Showdown on the airship. So, I think it's safe to say we're going to be on air sh an airship, you know, right there. Okay, went from underground tunnel to a flying ship. So this isn't the third phase, runaway to the third phase, okay. Yeah, Netero. I should try to remember that. <laughs> Are you serious? Why? <laughs> Who would name the child that? Yeah, he's so good still here, no surprises there. <laughs> Killa was certainly excited about this. It's funny how the camera has a pan so far down as it get to his face from his. Okay. How seriously should I take the whole free-to-do-as-you-please thing? Like, are we free to kill each other? <laughs> Only one? I'm surprised. You know, Hisoka would be one concern. I'm also curious about that as well. I'm glad somebody brought that up. Okay. That sounds about right. I wouldn't trust you, but... Why?
That's actually a good point. Got a point. <laughs> well, so make sure you set your alarm. I mean, you can relax a little bit. I feel like that's some, uh, bad candidate advice. I'm not sure that's the best way to phrase it, but... Yeah, it's clear what his true motivation is there. There was no surprise there. But he does technically have a point. He did have a test on the boat, so... <laughs> is he already out? Freaking Leorio. <laughs> There's no nervousness or tension there. Uh, five. That's my prediction. Really should look up her voice actress. <laughs> Satotes. They are some pretty good rookies. I don't remember who that was. Oh, him. <laughs> well, you might be right about that. Buhara. Hisoka. Yeah. He'll pass. I could watch her sit down like that all day long, I swear. <laughs> yeah, that's Hisoka for you. Yeah, that's Hisoka. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> that you did. I mean, we saw Hisoka almost kill him with a card, so... I'm sure. And... He does like his cards. I wonder if the tears on his face is supposed to represent some deep-seated sadness within his heart. Here's a thought I had. I can't forget to mention it. An oddball. I mean, I guess only one side has a tear, technically, but... Maybe my point still stands. Maybe he's supposed to rep rep represent a conflict in his heart, you know? A conflict between sadness and cheeriness. The Joker. Can we pull the camera debt back a little bit? Because just trying to make him seem as creepy as possible. <laughs> but why? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> I got food though, so... Oh. Nice. <laughs> it just lights, you know? City lights and stuff. This might be a touchy subject going. Probably. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Sounds super surprising. <laughs> uh, Killer really does like going. <laughs> well, yeah, going can tell. Gon is, as we established, pretty perceptive. <laughs> That's your charm point. 
Did you have to go to assassination class? Not very many people. A lot of work of fiction have that plot point. <laughs> Well, as long as she didn't try to kill you over it, I'd say it's a positive. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. <laughs> that would... That would definitely cause a grudge. <laughs> You're kind of a scary kid. <laughs> wow, he talked about some pretty dark stuff in a pretty lighthearted way there. Oh, I guess they sense that killing intent. Nothing. His name sounds way too much like NTR. He's pretty good. <laughs> Is he implying that he transferred his killing attempt, like a, like a ventriloquist sort of thing? Is that the implication? <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> of course, Gohan's always having fun. <laughs> That's something to be excited about. Yeah, Gohan knows what's up. I expected to kill some people. I assume we'll get to the point where you actually do have to try to kill people. Or at the very least fight, but... Because we haven't had any of that yet. Like Shogi? Go? Chess? Twister? What are you talking? <laughs> well, that's not gonna happen. We're not gonna beat you. Although it's a chance for some fun, so Killua might be up for it. <clears throat> yeah, they're not gonna win. I mean, he's probably really good for one thing, and two, they wouldn't just... From a writing perspective, they wouldn't just let them skip the exam like that, so they wouldn't win. <laughs> oh, wow. Basketball? Well, maybe not necessarily basketball, but... So the test here is to just grab your ball. <laughs> Should be fun. <laughs> well, that's always reassuring to hear. <laughs> See what you got. You sound confident, Killua, but... I don't think it all worked too well. It looks like Kilo is going to make the first move. Shadow Clone Jutsu already. He's impressed. He looks so weird wearing that outfit. Yes, clearly. Rhythm Echo. But it won't work on you, will it? And here we go. <laughs> uh, good, good, good moves, Killua, but I don't see this working for. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Let's put the bond on his butt. Well, he doesn't want you to get it. Hmm. <laughs> now he's a seal. I don't see that working. He'll just, you know. Oh, he actually kicked him. I'm surprised he let him do that. <laughs> Was it too hard for you? Ow. 
Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Good thing you're not ordinary. Master Roshi. You have to take turns? I can't remember if that was part of the rules, but whatever. <laughs> Let's see what Gon's got. Yeah, we already know he's pretty, got some pretty good reflexes and skill in general, so. Should be able to do at least as well as Killua. A flash step, you might even call it. He'd be a lot taller then. Well, yes, obviously. <laughs> Ow. Wow, Gon. <laughs> you didn't think that through. You're not outside, Gon. <laughs> Yeah, you might be able to get a move on move there successfully. If it wasn't for that slip up. Yeah, to hit the ceiling. But he's not easily discouraged. Yeah, when you're born on a on an airship, what do you do? You just grab a couple of children and have them entertain you for a few hours. You know, alone in a room together. With a ball. No, they're probably going to just be sleeping. <laughs> yep, your mind games did not work. Oh no, they've already lost some clothing. Not a good sign. Oh! <laughs> yeah, this, this is not going to end well for them. Okay, so they don't have to do it that way. But they would just get in each other's way if they try to do it at the same time. <laughs> Not fair, he has longer limbs than them. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Ouch. You're enjoying this far too much. Yeah, oh, <laughs> nice, you didn't see that coming. And then Killua, boom, nice. I don't think it'll work, but nice. Yeah, like I said, I don't see you guys winning. <laughs> wow, <laughs> man, Gon is getting good value out of that close. And they're so close, but it's not going to work. Yeah, but they were doing pretty well. Ow. That was a good move, though. I'm sure he's impressed. <laughs> wow, Killable looks angry. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a jump. He definitely took went seriously. He definitely took that part seriously. He almost lost that ball. Yeah, I think he realizes that he's been holding back for most of this. I think that footprint kind of made that clear. Yeah, I think that's what Killua picked up on. Yep, he's been holding back a lot. <laughs> yeah. You and I figured it out after the, the flaming footmark. <laughs> I mean, it was fun, so... You don't want to be too tired, though, for the exam. I mean, some people are sleeping right now, you know? Yeah, he just wants to have fun. <laughs> he wants to do his best. <laughs> Freezing gone. Freezing. Well, Killa was done. <laughs> it's just assassin training. You want to do it too?
Yeah, it's not really your style, Gum. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Uh. Wow, now he's just straight up shirtless. Yeah, I was waiting for something to happen from that sound effect. You want to pick a fight with them? Do you really? Yeah, I didn't think you did. <laughs> but they learned their lesson pretty quick. <laughs> oh. Could you have done that, though? I kind of want to see you try. Oh, ow, that's gotta hurt. We already established the old man's heart as a rock, so. <laughs> yeah, can't do that. So just dodge. Ow. Right into the wall. Good thing the wall doesn't look that hard. No, that'd be a very short anime. He is a tough kid. He did. <laughs> That's what he's so excited about. He got no man to use his right hand on him. And we're done. <laughs> Nap time. Well, that was fun. The flight. I read it as fight at first, but, you know. A hard head. And determination. Whew. Yeah, Friday 42. I still think we'll get five, uh, you know, people to full on pass. You know, probably be Gon, Kiloa. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I have to make a decision whether or not I think our main four are going to pass. Well, I mean, Kiloa and Gon are obviously going to pass. And. Uh, Kurapika would as well. Lirio is the only one I'm not 100% sure on, but he'd probably pass. And then there's Hisoka, so that would be the five most likely to pass. So yeah, that's pretty much my prediction at this point, is that those five would pass and nobody else. I am waiting for the actual fighting part of the exam because you know it's coming. They've talked about that too much. That fighting is a, you know, an important aspect of being a hunter. They have to have that eventually, so it's just a matter of when. Will that be safe for the final round? You know, like fighting each other in tournament stuff. Yeah. Okay, that was the seventh episode of Hunter x Hunter. This episode, yeah, it was pretty much just a transitionary period between Phase 2 and Phase 3. They're all riding on the airship, and whenever I see that in anime, it always kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, Battle City Tournament and, you know, all that with Kaiba. That's kind of what it reminds me of. But, uh, yeah, basically what we're doing here, just kind of relaxing, just getting our strengths back. That's pretty much what's supposed to be a resting time. Although if you have people like the one rookie crusher trying to put ideas into Leorio and Kurapika's head to try to make them nervous and not want to sleep and get rest and stuff. So, you know, they didn't seem to really fall for that though. They seem to be doing their best to just, you know, hang out and chill and 
get some rest because, you know, even if the exam is in their airship and they don't give you a, a heads up ahead of time, like, it's not that big of a deal, you know, just make sure you wake up, wake up in time for it, basically. And it's even less of a concern because at the very end you had Netero just kind of telling the, the pilot to slow it down a bit, you know, for going sake, I, I assume. But yeah, the biggest thing with the episode probably was that, that battle there between Gon, Killua, and uh, Net Netero. That's such a weird name, it's a little bit hard to remember. But yeah, basically he wanted to play a game with them because he sees potential in those two. Uh, either that or he just, you know, wants to hang out with the kids, you know, one of the two. Possibly both. But they did have a lot of fun, you know? The game was a catch the ball, and they just weren't doing it, like... <laughs> As it was eventually made obvious, but it was kind of obvious-ish before, he was holding back a lot, you know, just playing around. And, you know, during that period, you know, Killua and Goen, they did some pretty good teamwork. They did pretty well. They almost got that ball, so... Yeah, if he actually was at the level that he pretended to be at there, they probably would have got up there. Like, they would have succeeded, but... Once that failed, and then Killua was made clear to him what was going on, he just... He had enough, he left. He knew he wasn't gonna win. Either he was going to fail or he was going to kill the kill the old man, either of which wasn't a good option. So he just kind of decided to just leave. And then some rude people bumped into him. They just, he just killed them because he's an assassin. That's just what he does. And he looked kind of scary in that shot, like more so than usual. I guess he stabbed them to death with his fingernails, I guess was the implication there. But yeah, Gon was still having a good time, you know, doing his best. He just wanted to get the old man to use his right hand on him, which he succeeded in doing. Sure, he almost broke his skull to do it, but he did cause him to use his right hand, so I guess that was a positive for Gon, and then just took a nap. So hopefully he can get enough rest before it's time for Phase 3. That's what the idea of the slowing down was, I suppose. But I don't really have a lot to say on this episode, really. Uh, Netero was a pretty interesting character. He was having fun, clearly very powerful. I mean, it would be nice to see him fight at his full potential, like no holding back, no games. That'd be a cool thing to see at some point, hopefully we do get that eventually. It was also cool to see some of Killua's assassin training. He used the, uh, what do they call it? I mean, it's, a, it's an afterimage technique, you know, but I don't know exactly what it was called, but, I mean, Killua did kind of talk to Gon about his assassination background, basically. <laughs> that was definitely an interesting conversation, because he told Gon about his assassin parents, and he expected him to, to just, like, not really believe it, you know, but he took it a lot more seriously than Killua expected. That's because Gon's pretty good at telling when someone's lying, and that's just kind of part of his character, part of his skill set. So Killua was a little bit surprised by that, but it was a good chance for him to learn about Killua's backstory. And it was kind of dark, you know? He didn't want to be an assassin like his parents wanted him to, which is a very common, you know, trope, cliche, whatever you want to call it, from uh, fiction. But yeah, he's, his response to that was to basically just, like, stab his mom and brother and stuff. So, you know, that was pretty dark. But, you know, he's here. He's doing his best. You know, when he becomes a full-fledged hunter, he's going to, like, go after them for the prize money or whatever. That was it was a pretty dark stuff there. <laughs> Honestly, but it's cool to know, you know, what's up. I assume that's all true. Otherwise, Gon would have said something, I guess, about it being a lie. I'm going to assume he was serious about all that, or at least half serious. But that was definitely interesting stuff to get into. Uh, we also had a little bit of meeting between the uh, the examiners about the rookies and stuff. You know, talking about how there's some pretty good ones among the crop. And talking about Hisoka a bit as well, about how terrifying that individual is. He actually didn't do much this episode. All, all we really got from him was his just stacking cards and being creepy. That's just what he does best for the most part. But uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to getting more into Hisoka. You know, seeing what he can do like in a full-fledged fight. Because we are eventually going to get a, a tournament, martial arts tournament between our characters and Hisoka will fight someone. And that's something to look forward to. I'd be surprised if we did not get something like that on the show. I would be pretty surprised. But yeah, I really did love seeing Gon and Killua working together as a team. Some pretty cool stuff. It was mostly by themselves, really. Until they decided they needed a little bit of teamwork to have any chance at all. Which, that reminded me a little bit of uh, some uh, My Hero Academia stuff, you know, with Bakugo. Uh, Bakugo, Deku, and All, All Might, you know, that one, that one exam that they were doing. It kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Whereas teamwork is not optional. It's a prerequisite to have any chance at all. You know, it, it reminded me a little bit of that see anything else really with the episode uh, not really and just as usual for an episode where not a lot not a lot really was accomplished it still kept me entertained pretty thoroughly throughout so it's always an impressive thing the show can do like it never really feels like you have a wasted episode with this show like it always feels like we're you know getting through, getting into this important stuff moving forward with the plot 
you know, building things up. And yeah, I look forward to whatever whatever uh, the Phase 3 is going to give us. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.